The Heinemann Hire book, second chapter, sets and functions, mixed exercise, 2i. The first one, you're given three functions, f, g and h, and you define this fourth one, k, which is a composition of the two. You start with x, g acts on it, and whatever it produces, f comes along and acts on that afterwards. Well, it's easy to see what g does. Whatever you put into g, it does 3 minus 2 times it. So that'll be 3 minus 2 times x. And then f comes along and acts in this. Don't get confused by that single x and that single x. It's not just x, this x you're going to replace. What this says up here is, whatever f acts on, it does 2 times the thing it acts on, minus 1. No matter what you pop in there, whatever you pop in there, that's what pops in there. Whether it's just an x, whether it's a number, like 3, 2 times 3, or whether it's an expression, like x plus 1, x plus 1. That's just an example of what this calculation does. So if it acts on this, what f will do is, it will do 2 times whatever you feed it, and I'm feeding it 3 minus 2x, and then take away 1. So multiply that out. 6 minus 4x minus 1, so that's 5 minus 4x, and I've put this down here, keep it neat. So that'd be the first one. Right, second bit. Find a formula for h of k of x. Well, I've got k of x now. Well, that simply means I would have h acting on whatever k of x is. That's 5 minus 4x. And then h just does what it does. It does this. Whatever you put in, it'll do 1 quarter of 5 minus, and here it is, 5 minus whatever you put in. You're putting this into it, so it's going to be 5 minus 5 minus 4x. That's the part that's going in. x, x, the input, the input. Tidy that lot up. Take away the brackets, 5 minus 5, and that'll be plus 4x. 5 minus 5 is 0, so that's just a quarter of 4x, which is simply x. So h acting on k of x produces x again. And in fact, that's what the last question will ask. C. What is the connection between the functions h and k? Well, it's quite obvious here, because what this said was, you started with x, k acted on it, you started with x, k acted on it and produced an answer. You could just call that y. And then h came along and acted on that answer and gave you back x again which meant it was the inverse of it because it took you back to the beginning or took you back to the beginning. So there's two ways you could write this. What's the connection between them? H and K are inverses of each other. Or you could say this. <coughs> H equals inverse of K and K equals the inverse of H. Inverses of each other. They undo what the other did. There we go.